In this lesson, we will discuss factorization, and this factorization is based on the formulas a plus b whole square, a minus b whole square, and a square minus b square. We have discussed these formulas in the last lessons, but here we are going to discuss questions related to these formulas. So the first question is x square minus y square minus 6y minus 9. Right, first of all, we have to see whether we can take anything common. So I do not think so because we cannot take anything common from these four terms. Next we will see this is c y square minus 6y and negative 9. This is x square. So x square here does not belong to this part, these three terms. This is totally different. We can say it is irrelevant with these with these three terms. So we will keep x square separate, right? And then what we will do? Minus and then is minus. We will take as a common. Then parenthesis is start. So I told you if we will take negative as a common, all the signs inside the parenthesis will change. So it will be y square plus 6y plus 9. Why? Because this will multiply with this minus minus plus minus minus plus. So now see this will be x square, right? And then here in this parenthesis, we can take the square of the first term. Similarly, we can take the square of the last term. So if it is the square of the first term and the last term, and the, in the center we have plus 6y. It means this is a plus b whole square. This formula we will use here. See the square of first one is the y square. The square of b square is the 3 square. And in the center in the middle is the plus. We will use positive sign. 2 formula and then multiply by a whatever we have instead of a here we have y and then instead of b we have 3 and this dot means multiplication so when we will multiply this 3 2 times 6 y see it is same whatever we have here so x square will remain the same and this will be Whatever we have inside the parenthesis without this exponent, we have y plus in this parenthesis we have 3 square. So this term is the square of y plus 3 whole square. If you will expand, if you will multiply y plus 3, multiply by y, y plus 3, you will get this term. Right? Okay. Now from here. See, this is another formula. This is now a square minus b square. This is a. Now we have x instead of a negative. Instead of b, we have y plus 3 whole square. Now we have to use this formula. And how we will expand this formula? One time we will write down with the positive sign whatever we have instead of b. One time we have to write down the negative. So see, first I am going to write down with the positive. It is x, right? And then is minus y and minus 3. Now we are going to write with the negative. So this is negative. Now we have another negative. So it will be x plus y plus because negative now we are writing this is the important point here if we have a negative all the signs will change this is negative y it is positive and then this is minus minus positive and it will be positive 3 right and this is the answer so in this question we have used two formulas a plus b whole square a square minus b square Move on to the question number 2. It is x square minus a square plus 2a minus 1. Right? So see a square plus 2a minus 1. This is one polynomial with the same variable at the different exponents. But this x 
is not related to this part because here is a a and then constant and this x so we will keep this x as it is take minus as a common right so it will be a square minus 2 a plus 1 because when we will take the minus negative common all the signs inside the parenthesis will change so this is x square right and minus see can we take the square of the first term yes we can can we take the square of the last term 1 is square yes we can right if it is the square of the first term square of the last term and in the center we have negative 2ab right so this is a minus b whole square which is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square so actually this part is given in the question this one you have to find out what is a minus b whole square so i will show you here the easiest way this x square will remains the same we are not going to change this so far whatever we have made in this parenthesis write down a whatever is inside this parenthesis write down one but what sign you have to decide the sign from here if it is negative we will put negative if it is positive then we will write positive and whole square so simple so this part is a minus one whole square whole square means two times if you will expand a minus 1 multiply by a minus 1 we will get the same thing right but here you have to write down 2ab as well so minus 2 just follow this formula what is a a is a and b is 1 when we will multiply this it is negative 2a and here is negative 2a it is same so this part is given in the question you have to find out what is a minus b whole square so make the square of the first term make the square of the second term whatever is inside the parenthesis make the squares you will get this term now from here again we have a square minus b square see this is a instead of a we have x instead of b we have a minus 1 so how we will expand it one time we will write down with the positive sign one time we will write with the negative sign so see x plus now we are using plus so minus a and then plus 1 now with the negative so see this is negative this is negative but we have another negative of the formula a minus 1 so it will be x plus a minus 1 right this is the important thing how you have to write down this so this is the answer okay third is 4x square minus y square and then minus 1 okay I will make it correct this is actually Okay, we will move on to this question. I will write down this question again here. This is 4x square. Like this. Okay. So see, y square. I believe it is okay. 4x square minus y square minus 2y minus 1. So see this is y, y and constant. So this is, we will keep 4x square separate. And it will be, take minus sign as common, y square plus 2y plus 1. So 4x square is the square of 2x square. We can write down like this. But this one is a plus b whole square see a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square can we take the square how i know this yes we can take the square of the first term we can take the square of the last term as well so this portion is given 
this portion you have to find out what is a plus b whole square so i told you whatever you have put in this parenthesis y and in this parenthesis plus 1 this is a plus b this is and you cannot ignore this we still have this one but here you have to fill plus 2ab so plus 2 instead of a we have y and 1 so when we will multiply 2y it is same right make the square of the first term make the square of the last term whatever is inside the parenthesis without the exponent make it y plus 1 then whole square you will get the required answer this one so from here again this is a square minus b square this is c instead of a now we have 2x instead of b we have y plus 1 so one time you have to write down with a positive and one time we have to write down with negative so this is 2x plus 1 and then this is plus 1 right so this is the answer now is fourth move on question number fourth and this is important important means if i say important you have to do 10 times so these type of questions will come in your exam that is why you have to do practice so what see i first i am going to arrange it because this is different x square minus 4x plus 3 right minus y square and then minus 2y so this is x x this is the x square then is decreasing here y square then is decreasing so see this is one part of the question and this is the second part i will write down here x square 4x plus 3 make it first part take negative sign as common so it will be like this y square plus 2y right okay now see can you take the square of the first term i will say yes i can take can i take the square of the last term no why it is three actually it should be four how i know that it should be four see the center term is four x four x and what is the first square is x divided by x so it should be a four and the question it is 3 it means we have to add 1 here it should be 4 not 3 so I have added I have added 4 here so same 1 I have to subtract from here as well right so it will be y square minus 2y and minus 1 because I have added 1 here in order to make it the square. So I have to subtract 1 from here as well. So see now. The first term will be x square. The square of this. Second is the square of this. In the middle we will write down 2 multiply by x multiply by 2. 2ab. Two right. And this is closed. Same thing here. It is now I will do one more step here so it will be more clear okay it is x minus 2 whole square and it will be y plus 1 whole square a plus b now the from here it is a square minus b square so one time you have to write down x minus 2 with the positive and one time x minus 2 plus 1 and then plus y plus 1. So it is x minus y minus 3. Here will be x plus y minus 1 because this is minus 2 plus 1 equal to this 
this is very very important question i will repeat one more time for you see first of all you have to arrange x square with this decreasing power of the x minus 4x plus constant and minus y square minus 2y this is the first step you have arranged here see here x square minus 4x plus 3 actually you can take the square of the first one but you cannot take the square of the last term because it is 3 actually it should be 4 right so you have to add 1 here in order to make the square of it so you have add 1 here that is why you have to subtract 1 from here as well this is the important point right so now this is the square of x minus 2 whole square this is y plus 1 whole square and from here the question converts to a square minus b square this x minus 2 is a this is complete b first time you have to write down with the positive second time in the negative and this is the answer positive is okay x minus 2 whatever is here just multiply minus and then minus but if you are writing in the negative then it is important you because there is another one more negative sign so negative negative will be plus right this is important you have to practice and now fifth one fifth question is 25x square minus 10x plus 1 minus 36z square so see this is x square this is x decreasing and then constant so this is z square right different we will consider this one part and this one part can we take the square of the first term yes we can can we take the square of the last one yes we can so see whatever sorry this is x inside this parenthesis so it is x and here is one but what sign 5x and then sign you have to decide from here this is minus 2ab minus 1 whatever is inside the parenthesis write down like this right so this is a minus b whole square which is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square this is mentioned you have to find out this part so write make the square of the first term make the square of the last term whatever is inside the parenthesis write down and use the sign minus or plus based on the central one middle term which is minus it means minus one whole square right but you have to check from here as well minus this is a square this is b square minus 2ab 2 instead of a we have 5x and b 2 5 times 10 this is 10x so it is same right this is the first part and minus this is 6z square instead of 36z square we can write down 6 z square from here again this is a square minus b square one time a will remain the same but this will b you have to change the sign first time we will write down with the positive second we have to write down with the negative a square minus b square and this is the answer last question x square minus y square minus 4xz plus 4z square right so see we will arrange it x square minus 4x z plus 4 z square minus y square this is one and this is second right can we take the square of the first term yes we can you can take the square of the last term yes you can and then this is y square right so this is x square the square of the first term square of the second term minus 2ab so it will be x minus 2z whatever is inside the parenthesis like this but here is 2a this is 2 instead of a we have x b just check 2 2 times 4 xz 4 xz and here is the y square so from here this is a square minus b square this is not part of your fair work okay you have to write down this in the rough work if you want but i am just telling you that from here 
this is a square minus b square so first time you have to write down with the positive sign this y a will remain the same and you have x minus 2z instead of a and then x minus 2z minus y this is the answer so here we have used two formulas one is a square minus b square other one is a minus b whole square which is equal to a square minus 2ab plus 2b right so in this factorization we have learned how to do the factorization based on a minus b whole square a plus b whole square a square minus b square but if still you have any question please write down in comment section and do not forget to subscribe to my channel Sci Academy.